Hello, Lego lovers. This is L, and this is a Lego Dream set review. This is Stable of Dream Creatures, set number 71459. Has about 681 pieces and retails for around $80. So let's get into the build first. First up, our Dream Creature which you can build one of two ways. Basically, you can swap out the blue for the pink. That's basically the main difference. It'll look a little different, but not too much. But basically, you can tell this is a deer, um, and it's cool. I like it. It definitely pops like elves all over it. Um, neat thing I didn't realize until I got this set is those eyes are prints and they can be flipped up or down. So they're kind of very universal and really cool like that. It's actually the exact same print on both sides, but you can't even tell. And then the, we have some sticker detailing back there. Um, the legs are built a little weird, but they also kind of fit really well. Um, deer have thin legs, and this is a mythical creature, so white makes sense. Love the head. It does have some posability. Maybe not a whole ton of a lot, but still really cool. And the antlers are pink with flowers, which is really cool. Little tail, not too much there. Not going to comment on that. Um, but other than that, it's just a really cool elves-like animal build. Obviously, you can use it as a saddle and have a character on there. Um, just really, really cute and cool. I like it. Unfortunately, there is one problem, and it does not fit in the little stable area. And honestly, there's no animals for the little stable area. So I do wish they kind of threw in... Some other medium-sized creature, brick-built or not, it doesn't really matter to me, but something that can go in the, there. Now, I don't know if this build, which we'll get into later, is supposed to go in there. I will do the figures later, but I digress. That's a little minor thing, but this is the Dream Stable, so I love how it looks. It just has a really nice fantasy stable-type look. I love the variety of weird plants growing up around it. You got like these yellow cone type flower things. You got these giant blue flower things in the back. You have maybe these giant trees or bushes or something. You got this nice like blue tree kind of in a pot growing off the side um, with these new parts, which are awesome, by the way, which are also used on this fan, which does move. Um, but you can see here all the different details. These are stickers, but it does make it kind of look cool. Um, you got a very fantasy type house going on here. Lots of little details, nothing super crazy, but it's just, it's just well done. That is a sticker with the cactus cactus. I'm not sure. Of course, these can open. Not really that special. We got some nice kind of rock work, which isn't too good, but not too bad. Um, it just has a really nice look to it. The roof angling is great. I love it. But let's take a look on the inside. So all we have to do is flip it around. And then we are looking at the inside. So first up, just down on this side here, you can see we have a little seating area with some tea. Basically, you can sit there and drink tea, eat lunch, whatever. Um, another interesting side thing is these do swing out, and they have really cool lantern builds, which is pink, which is cool. So you can do whatever you want. You can imagine that the stable extends around out the back or whatever you want to. Otherwise, we'll just open that wide up, and you can kind of see more down there. So on the bottom here is probably your main entrance area. You can see a stove over there. We have a lamp, some other just tools and stuff like that. Um, I'm not a big fan of these stickers, and you can see over here I totally did a bad job. They're neat, but also unnecessary in my mind. Um, that is a sticker down there for a rug, not too special. Our stable area over here doesn't have a whole lot going on. There's clearly Lego's new favorite poop part and water and a little thing to put some food in 
Um, up top here is kind of the bigger part here. We got some bags, there's a shovel, bread, just tools, and I'm guessing this is supposed to represent a mill. Um, this is a print up here, which is cool, and you can see how the flowers and trees on both sides are just kind of attached to the rough, which, whatever. But basically, you can spin this, and you can imagine that milling the oats or whatever would be in there to make something to cook with. And we can show that on the other side. The technique for the roofs are actually pretty awesome, in my opinion at least. Um, it's simple. It's basically just a roof made out of plates with some Technic things to get the angling, which I think is really cool. But up here we have our little fan thing, which you just spin the back and you can see it spin. I do wish we could get like some more velocity with it. But I guess it's kind of cool. But I'm going to pop one off just because I want to look at it, if I can. These parts are new, and basically it's a 1 by 2 rounded part, just like so. Holes there so you can connect them with bars, which I think is awesome. And just a little strip down there for detail. Fantastically awesome part, and in this set you're getting it in both tan, which is kind of a weird color, but whatever and this turquoise on this tree over here, which is kind of a cool build. Pretty basic, but kind of colorful, so I, I like it. So that's the main build here, and as you can see, it's pretty substantial. Um, you have a lot of flooring on there. I love the angling. It's just overall really cool, but we're going to get into the figures next. Alright, first up, I don't know this character's name because I don't remember seeing it in the show. However, it looks like a cat cactus, is my guess. So there's a lime green printed part up there. Um, definitely looks like a cactus. The arms are movable if you so want. And also it actually spins in here. The back doesn't look as appealing. But it has some posability if you want to. It's weird. It's cute. But that's what it is. Alright, here what you have is what I'll call the Mushroom Bros. Now they bo do both come with this awesome uh, mushroom top print. Um, but I took it off so you can kind of see the face print. Um, they're just kind of weird little guys. Um, basically just weird overall. Um, they got like a gold glittery thing going on there. But that's just minifigure heads and they can armpit a bar. Um, you do get two of those in this set and two of that cool mushroom piece, so we can't really complain about that. You also randomly get Z-Blob here. Um, Mateo's not in this set, so it's kind of a little weird, but still a weird little figure. And of course that slime part can go on any minifigure head. And you have a nice body. Same as those mushroom guys. Other than that, nothing too special. The head in there just has eye prints, and that's it. This character, I never remember the name of, but still a neat character. Love the staff, which is kind of like a sleep time magic staff thing going on. And this has a different body, but it has a cool print. And basically, it's like the Super Mario figures with the arms. They just stick in like via a pin. The back is actually a 2x2 two two studded connection. So you see that the backpack is built up. She has a cute smile, and if I remember correctly, you take her hair off, and she has another face, which is a lesser smile, maybe a little bit more of a focus. Um, but as you can see, it's just a really weird part, um, like a skirt part into, it's weird. That's about all I can say about that. It's a really cool character, though. Um, love the printing, which is nice, and the head printing is really cool. Just an interesting, weird figure. This character, I don't remember his name, but he has a really cool torso print and leg print. Um, I believe he's in a race car, so it makes sense. He does come with like a blue belt. Um, kind of a focus type look with a crazy hairstyle, which I like. And his back is also nicely printed, which adds to that. And he even has a sleeping head, which is why I wish this was mini dolls, because we don't have a ton of those, or many other different emotions, but still a cool little head to get. 
Um, I believe he actually, like, is sleeping in the show, so that's a thing that happens. But let's get on to the next character. So this character has also an incredibly awesome print, as you can see. Um, I believe she's kind of acts like almost a rogue character, which kind of fits in her equipment. There's just so much going on. It looks so cool. She also has a glove on one hand. Nice makeup going on there. Crazy hairstyle. It goes all the way around. Print on the back as well. And I believe she does have an alternate. Yep. So just a really detailed, cool figure. I mean, that there's just so much print. Dual molded legging. Or no, no, they're not actually. Which means that's a pretty good printing job on the legs then. Um, yep, a really nice, again, minifigure. Um, just so much coolness going on there. And here we have Izzy, which is really excited to brush the deer in this set. And as you can see, continuation of awesome printing on the legs and torso. Looks really nice. Um, the coloring on the belt looks a little bit off, which is a little weird. But other than that, really cool. She's got sparkly makeup on. And of course, this fantastic hairpiece, as you can see here. Just a lovely hair piece. She comes with the accessory brush, which is meh, not really that special. But, I'll take that off, and she does have another expression on the back and continuation of awesome printing on the back. So, what are my overall thoughts now that we've gone through everything here? Um, for an $80 set, I think this is really good. I have minor qualms about the little stable area, but you get a plethora down here of awesome minifigures, and they're just all great prints. Um, and I don't know if that's considered a minifigure or not, whatever. We got this cool brick built character. We got three of these weird guys. We got this cool deer. There's a plethora of awesome recolored parts and newer parts. Um, just so much going on. The interior might be a little lacking, but I think just the look of this is just excellent. So overall, I think this is a really great set parts wise. Colors are on point. It's so colorful. Characters are great. Everything is really great about this set. Only a couple minor things that bothered me, but other than that, hopefully you enjoyed this video and hopefully you'll check out some more of my videos. Thanks for watching.